Hi everyone, we are going to keep this prenatal Pilates class on the shorter side today. So great if you don't have an extended amount of time to work out. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nicole. I'm a stock trained Pilates instructor and a pregnancy and postpartum corrective exercise specialist. So you're in good hands, but that being said, I'm not there in the room with you. So first and foremost, you're gonna to listen to your doctor and you're going to listen to your body. If anything doesn't feel okay, if you're feeling nauseous, lightheaded, dizzy, you're gonna modify or you are going to stop. Now, you do not have to be pregnant to do this class. We got some good work in there for everyone, but I'm going to cue for pregnancy because I myself am pregnant. I am 26 weeks today. No equipment is needed. We're gonna go no props for this one. However, if you did wanna wear wrist weights or and slash or ankle weights to increase the difficulty, that is always an option. All right, so for the sake of keeping this on the briefer side, let's get right into it. I want you to find a comfortable cross-legged position. If this is uncomfortable, try elevating your hips on a pillow or a block. You're gonna tense your fingertips to either side. Mirroring me, I want you to take your right arm, reach it up, grow tall, and let's side bend up and over to the left, opening up through the side of our body. Now staying within this side bend, we're gonna rotate with our breath. As you exhale, I want you to rotate towards the floor. It's a small rotation through the mid spine. And as you inhale, I want you to rotate up towards the ceiling a little bit. Exhale, rotate down. The twisting is coming from the mid spine and open. All right, now twisting is great to do because we want to stay mobile through the mid spine as long into our pregnancy as possible or throughout the whole pregnancy. However, as you progress through the third trimester, big twists can be uncomfortable and even not recommended to do. So if this is at all uncomfortable, you're going to either just make it smaller or just focus on the open rotation, okay, and eliminate that closed rotation. If the closed rotation is still okay, though, let's find that closed rotation towards the floor and staying within it, I want you to picture you're rounding up and over a ball. So we're sort of rounding forward, really further opening up through this side body and our mid back. And we're going to stay in this rounded forward position. And we're just going to breathe. On the inhale, I want you to think of expanding the rib cage into this armpit area. Exhale slowly out through the mouth. As you exhale out through the mouth, lift to the pelvic floor, engage to the abdominal wall, kind of hugging the baby up and in. Twice more. Last time, in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're gonna come through center, we're gonna come upright, same thing, other side. So we're gonna take our left arm, reach it up, grow tall. We're gonna side bend up and over to the right, opening up through the side body. And with our breath, we rotate. Exhale, close the rotation. If it feels okay, if it doesn't, just stick with the open. Inhale, open rotation, keep moving like that. So in creating a Pilates class that's on the shorter side, I sort of thought, okay, what are the highlights that I wanna hit? If I only have X amount of minutes to work out while pregnant, what do I wanna focus on? And topping that list was, well, I wanna mobilize the sides of our body, really open up through the side body and through that mid back so that we can keep that diaphragmatic breathing going throughout pregnancy. Next time you round down to the ground, you're going to pause here, and then we're gonna round forward a little bit, like you're diving up and over something. So we feel this nice opening through our mid-back area, across the shoulder blades, into this armpit, and we breathe into it. In through the nose, direct the breath into this armpit area. Out through the mouth slowly. Lift the pelvic floor, brace the abdominal wall. Twice more. One more breath. Let's untwist, let's come up tall, and I want you to bring the hands to the base of your bump, okay? If you're early in pregnancy and you don't have much of a bump, just bring it to your lower belly, okay? And we're just gonna practice some diaphragmatic breathing. And what I want you to focus on is on the exhale when we engage the abdominal wall, picture you're not, you're not just sucking in, picture you're lifting the baby up off your hands and then in, okay? So we really get that pelvic floor lower abdominal engagement. So it's in through the nose, expand the rib cage. Out through the mouth, lift to the pelvic floor, and picture you're lifting the baby up away from your hands and in, in through the nose. So on that exhale, it's like you're emptying yourself of air from the bottom up, pelvic floor, lower abdominals, and the ribs can move in and down. Twice more.
When you inhale, relax the pelvic floor. Final exhale. And then I want you to walk your hands forward and we're gonna come through into a tabletop position. So now that we've established breath and that connection to deep core pelvic floor, how it works together with our breath, let's continue our core work with some bird dog variations. I want you to stay planted down through your right hand and on the exhale, the left arm is going to reach forward and then we're going to sweep it back behind us. First, let's make sure we're starting in a neutral spine position. So there's length through the back of the neck you have the natural curve to your lower back, but you're not just letting that low back hang down, okay? So think of reaching the tailbone long, reach the top of the head long. We inhale to prepare. Exhale, same lift to the pelvic floor and hug the baby up and in. And once you feel that brace, you are going to reach your left arm forward. As you inhale, I want you to sweep the left arm back behind you, palm faces into midline. Exhale, reverse it, sweep that arm forward, overhead, bicep in line with the ear. Inhale, return the hand to the mat, same pattern, same side. As you exhale, first feel the engagement of the abdominal wall, reach the arm forward without swaying over to the right. Inhale, sweep the arm back, staying open through the front of the shoulder, don't dump it forward. Exhale, sweep it back forward, staying open through the chest. Inhale, return to the mat once more like this, and we add on. Now, next time you do this, same deal, but we're gonna add in the opposite leg moving. So on your next exhale, feel the lift of the pelvic floor, Hug the baby up and in, left arm, right leg, reach long in opposition. Keeping the leg lifted, you're going to sweep the left arm back behind you on the inhale. Sweep it forward on your exhale. As you inhale, return hand and knee to the mat. Again, exhale, left arm, right leg, lift up. <laughs> Don't know what I was gonna say. We sweep the arm back. Arm sweeps forward everything lowers. When that leg lifts, don't dump into your lower back. So think brace through the core, fire into the right side glutes. So getting a little shoulder mobility work in here, opening up through the chest as we connect to deep core and get the glutes to fire. One more time fully through the combo and then we are going to hold the arm back and the leg lifted. So next time that arm sweeps back, hold. Let's make sure we're long through the spine. Press the mat away with that right arm so we're stable through the right shoulder. From here, I want you pointed, oops, can't point hitting my wall, gently pointed through that right ankle. And I want you to lower a straight right leg. Exhale, lift it. Hit small, tap the floor. Exhale, lift. Now we're squeezing into the glutes to lift the leg. We're not arching into the lower back. Reaching long through our left arm, staying open through the chest. Make sure you're active through the quads, the top of the thigh on that right side, and that's gonna hold your legs straight. Lift for four, three, two, last time tap and lift, hold here. Hips are square, engage to the abdominal wall, pressing the mat away, stable through the shoulder. Now we're gonna keep reaching back with this left arm. Right knee is gonna to come to the mat. We'll come to a hinge in three, two, one. So the knee comes down, send your bum back. So we're in this hinged position and I want you to reach the right arm forward. So left arm's reaching back, right arm is reaching forward, hinged position. We're gonna sweep the arms out to the side, palms face forward, so like a reverse fly, and then just sweep them back to that starting position. Left arm goes back, right arm forward. You sweep them out to the side and back. Reaching those hips back, stay connected to the core on every exhale. It's that lift and that hug in and up. Now we're retracted through the shoulder blades. So they're gently squeezing in towards each other, active through that mid back, open through the chest, long through the spine. So we're getting the posterior chain here, the backside of our body which is so important to strengthen for everyone, but especially as we progress through pregnancy and our abdominals start to get stretched to make room for the baby.
Next time your arms sweep out wide to the side like that reverse fly, I want you to hold them here. And I want you to give me a little reverse fly pulse. You're gonna lower the arms a couple inches, fly them wide, lower and lift. Now I just cued the arms lowering and lifting, but what I want you to focus on is actually your shoulder blades, okay? They glide in towards each other and away, in towards each other and away. Keeping the shoulder blades mobile across that mid back helps prevent us from making a ton of postural compensations as we progress into pregnancy, helping us stay open through the chest. Make sure as you do this, you're not flaring through the front of your ribs and sinking into your lower back. Give me four, we're gonna start from the top. In three, we do the other side. In two, and one. Okay, bring those hands down to the mat, spread out through the fingers. Hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips. We're gonna start with that arm sweep combo. Left hand is gonna stay planted down. On your exhale, lift to the pelvic floor. Hug the baby up and in. Reach that right arm forward, bicep in line with the ear. Inhale, sweep the arm back, palm faces into midline. Exhale, sweep it forward. Inhale, lower it down to the mat, just twice more like this. Don't rush it, we are moving with our breath. One more like this and we'll get the leg involved. All right, so now we add in that opposite leg. So as you exhale, first feel the brace of the abdominal wall, and then right arm, left leg, reach long. Inhale, sweep the arm back. Exhale, sweep the arm forward. Inhale, hand and knee, lower back down to the mat. Exhale. Try not to sway side to side, so we're staying centered as we do this. The leg stays lifted as the arm sweeps back and forward, and everything lowers down. You're squeezing into the glutes to lift the leg. You're not sinking into the lower back. Next time that arm and leg are back, we're gonna hold. So when you sweep that arm back, I want you to hold here. On your stabilizing left side, really press the mat away, you're open through the chest, hips are level, squeezing into the glutes, reaching long through the leg. I want you gently pointed through that ankle. You're gonna lower, tap the floor, and lift. Straight leg lowers and lifts. Down and up. Think of reaching long through the leg, squeezing the quads, and then making a fist with that left butt cheek. Give me four, three, hold in two, one, hold at the top, now we're gonna keep reaching back with this right arm, left knee is gonna come down in three. We find that hinged position in two, one. Knee comes down, send your bum back long and open through the spine, and you're going to reach that left arm forward, right arm is back. Now from here you sweep them out wide, palms face forward or kind of down to the ground, reverse fly, and then back to that starting position. Every time you sweep back, right arm goes back, left arm goes forward. Keep reaching long through the neck, So if we have our checklist of necessities I wanted to include in a class, even if it's quick, we've got opening up through the sides of our body and our mid back, check. Connecting to breath, pelvic floor and deep core, check. A Little bit of firing the glutes and then lots of chest opening and shoulder work. Next time those arms sweep out wide, hold them wide, little reverse fly pulse down and up, down and up. So what is left on that checklist? I want us to do some side body work where we really pay attention to the hip joint. Functional, happy, strong hip joints go hand in hand with functional, strong, happy pelvic floor. So that is why it is important. Give me four, three, two, 
and one. All right, so you're going to mirror me and we are gonna come down onto our right side. Now, if your shoulder is already feeling pretty fatigued, you can lay all the way down on your side for this first part. Otherwise though, we're going to be propped up on our forearm. So it's up to you at first, but we will eventually all come to a propped forearm. Now I want shoulders and hips in line with each other and then the knees bent and forward. We're gonna press the mat away so that we're really active through the side body and the shoulder. And on an exhale, you're going to lift this top bent leg, inhale lower. We lift and lower. So I don't really care how high you're getting the leg. I don't want you to go up as high as you can because usually what happens when you really try to force that leg up is you compensate by sinking into the side body. So yeah, I'm getting my leg up higher when I do this, but I'm not staying in alignment. So the leg only lifts as high as you can, staying really lifted through this bottom side body. We'll hold this leg at a hover, and we'll find internal and external rotation. The hip is a ball and socket joint, so it has a lot of movement available to it. We wanna make sure that we are utilizing all the range of motion available to the hip joint so that we don't start to lose some of that range of motion and get stiff. So next time that leg lifts up to a hover, I want you to hold. We're reaching long through the waist, and from here you're going to tap knee to knee, internal rotation, Foot to foot, external, knee to knee, internal, external. Now, as we do this, we're not rocking the pelvis. So the hips stay still, the leg just moves within the hip joint. If that means that your knee is not physically touching the bottom knee, that's fine. Maybe it's just a little rotation down and it stays at a hover, whatever works best for your body. Quick side body series here, okay? To go with the theme of our quick class. So stay with me, just a few variations here. Give me four, you're gonna hold with the leg parallel in three, two, one. Hold with the leg lifted parallel though. Gently flex through the ankle and I want you to Press the leg back so that you're open through the front of the hip. Oop, as I hit my uh, bench and you're active through the glutes, okay? So you just squeeze into your butt cheek without flaring into the ribs though. Now from here, I want you to find internal rotation again. So keep the knee at a hover, but I just want you to wrap the thigh inward so the foot lifts a little bit. Whoo! So that might feel kind of awkward and we're just holding here, okay? So you should feel this. Kind of deepen your butt. We're active through the glutes to send the leg back and then we rotate inward slightly. This might feel super awkward, super uncomfortable, it's fine. And it's not gonna be a huge range of motion, okay? The human body has more external rotation available to it than internal. So not, <laughs> not abnormal to feel like internal is tiny, but we wanna make sure we work it so we don't lose it. Hold here, lift that leg up, back, rotate. Up, back, spiral in for four, hold. Three. Two, one, I want you to stack the legs on top of each other. If you're laying all the way down, come up onto your forearm. Now from this position, we're gonna hop our hips back so that the elbow and knees are in line with each other and the hips are a little farther back. We're gonna come into a modified side plank. As you exhale, I want you to feel the hug of the baby up and in, and then the hips come up and forward, you lift that top leg. Pause at the top, and then with control, lower down. Exhale. Feel the hug and then come up and lower. Give me six more. So we're getting glute medius here. We're challenging shoulder stability. We're challenging obliques and we're practicing that deep core connection with our breath. Three more. Final two. This last time up, you're gonna hold the top for me. Hold, so the hips are square, the chest is open. Really press those hips up and forward. Maintaining control in the abdomen. Hold for four, 
three, two, one. Lower the hips down, come up and just take a counter stretch. That right arm can sweep up and over. Okay, so we're gonna repeat that series on the other side. Take a couple seconds here though to catch your breath before we do. We'll swing those legs around. All right, so mirroring me, we are going to prop ourselves up on our left form, or again, you can start laying all the way down for this first section. Hips and elbow in line with each other, knees bent and forward. Square the hips, press the floor away, lift it, engage through the side body. We're gonna start with that bent leg abduction, lifting up and lowering. Only lifting up as high as we can without collapsing down into that bottom waist. We'll hold that leg lifted up next. We'll explore internal and external rotation in three, two. Next time that leg lifts up, hold it lifted. Make sure you're still long through the spine. And from here, we go knee to knee, internal, foot to foot, external, internal, external. And it's normal to notice differences between the sides. Maybe one side feels smooth, the other feels a little clunky, a little clicky. It's nothing wrong with that, but it's good information to have. And it is why it's good to incorporate unilateral work where you isolate one side versus the other. So that if there are imbalances and differences between the sides, which everyone has differences between the sides, you can address them. If you only do double leg work, then the strong side tends to just take over for the week. Give me two more. Last time, hold the leg at a hover parallel, flex through the ankle, press that leg back. So we are open through the front of the hip, squeezing into the base of the seat here, not arching into the lower back. So make sure you're con maintaining control through the abdominals. And then we're gonna find that internal rotation. So keep the leg at a hover. Just wrap the thigh in so the foot will lift up a little bit. Now it's just the leg within the hip joint so I didn't rock forward with my hip bones. Hips stay still, leg wraps. Can you lift it up just a smidge and take it back an inch? Hold here. Notice as your leg trying to come out of internal rotation and go parallel, wrap, wrap it in. Whoo. Really squeezing into the bum. Hold for four, three, two, one. Lower the legs, stack them on top of each other. If you're laying all the way down, come up to a propped elbow. We're gonna scoop the hips back a little bit so that the knees and the elbow are in a line and the hips are a little far behind us. We're gonna come into that modified side plank. So exhale, breath first, feel the lift of the pelvic floor hug the baby up and in, and then we lift the hips up and forward. So notice I'm open through the hips at the top. I'm flexed through the hip at the bottom because my hips are moving back. They come forward and up. They go back and down. Six more. Four more. Really squeeze into the bottom side to lift the hips up. We want to get into glute med. Twice more. Final time up, you're going to give me a quick hold. Hold. Press up through the hips. You're open through the hips, open through the chest. Squeezing into the bottom side glutes. Hold four. Three. Two, one, lower the hips down. Let's take a counter stretch. All right, so we're quickly just gonna center off and then we're done with the class. So we're going to finish with just some reverse tabletop lifts. So I want you seated. I want the feet forward, hips distance apart. Don't bring your heels all the way under the knees. You want them out a little farther. Now for comfort for the wrists, 
up to you. You could do hands down fingertips forward, or it's probably gonna feel a little more comfortable if you do fingertips pointing out to the side, but I want those hands shoulder distance apart. And before we do anything, let's make sure we're open across the front of our chest, pressing the floor away. We're not flaring into the ribs and arching into the back though, so think neutral through the spine. Inhale here, exhale, lift the pelvic floor, hug the baby up and in, press your feet down into the mat, squeeze into your glutes, lift those hips up. Inhale to lower down, keep going like that. Now as you do this, I want you to notice on the way up and down, is there any slight swaying side to side? I want it as smooth as possible. Swaying just suggests that you're going over to favor your stronger side, okay? So, so think exhale, both feet press down, both glutes fire, hips go straight up and lower. This can be really challenging for the shoulders, I know. It takes shoulder mobility and stability and strength. Twice more. Next time up, I want you to hold. Hold. Feet press down, hips press up. Make sure that there is no coning or doming through your midline. So we're connected to our deep core. Four, three, two, one. You're gonna lower those hips down. We go back to full range. As you exhale, press the feet down, hips go up. Final set, you got it. Inhale, lower. Gaze is forward as you do this. So we're not letting our head go back. It's just gonna be a more comfortable position for the neck. Twice more. Next time up, we take our final hold. Final hold. Squeeze into the glutes, press your feet into the floor. Hold four, three, hits quick. Two, one, lower the hips down. Find a cross-legged position from here. I want you to sweep those arms up, cactus them back. Reach them up overhead, sweep them down and back. And just keep moving like that. Arms sweep up and cactus back. They reach forward, sweep them back. Good job, up and cactus. Oh, I'm feeling great after that. One more time. And then you're just gonna bring one hand to either knee. From here, I just want you to kind of make circles within the hip joint. Once you've done a few in one direction, you'll switch it up. This is like my favorite thing to do lately. It feels so good for me. One more circle. And then we'll just finish with a quick moment of stillness. So settle in, you're sitting up tall. Maybe you close your eyes, don't overthink the breathing. Just check in with how you feel. I'm feeling great, I'm feeling energized after that, ready to take on the day. Even though it's 3 p.m. <laughs> Sorry, this is supposed to be a moment of stillness, I'll shut up. When you're ready, you can open your eyes if they were closed. Awesome job today. Thanks for moving with me. If you enjoyed class, be sure you're subscribed to my channel. Pregnancy-friendly classes every Tuesday and Thursday, at least through the duration of my pregnancy. Other days of the week, I share workouts that I filmed prior to pregnancy. So I will see you next time.